Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, E.T. Williams, the doctor of common sense. You know, this this whole uh, illegal immigration thing just proves how big of a, a hypocrites most liberals are. We got Mr. Plant Based Eater down in New York, Mayor Adams. He's threatening to, he said he was going to bring a busload of New Yorkers down here. I guess he's saying they're going to illegally vote in the Texas gubernatorial race. In some respects, you could call this the political version of Texas Hold'em Poker. Mayor Adams cheekily saying to Governor Greg Abbott, I'll see the busloads of migrants you're sending to my city with busloads of New Yorkers coming to your state. I am deeply contemplating taking a busload of New Yorkers uh, to go to Texas and do some good old fashioned door knocking uh, because we we have to, for the good of America, we have to get him out of office. Adam's threat could spell danger for Abbott, who is facing a stiff. So I don't know what the hell you're saying you're going to bring him down here for, but I thought New York was a sanctuary city. Why are you complaining? Then you got the D.C. mayor who didn't want the National Guard down there for January the 6th. Because they were planning on doing something. The FBI probably told her, whatever you do, do not accept any National Guards because we want to be able to frame a narrative on Donald Trump. She's begging for the National Guards. Have we lost our damn mind in this country? We need space uh, and we, we need the federal government to be involved. So I've asked um, for the deployment of the Guard as long as we need the Guard to deal with the humanitarian crisis that we expect to escalate. The number of people crossing the border seeking asylum, we expect to only go up. Why are we debating about the National Guard pretending as if these people are running because they're seeking asylum? Their country is so damn dangerous. Were you elected to help foreigners or were you elected to take care of the citizens in America? Have these idiots forgot that we're in a full-blown recession? Have they forgot the price of gas and food, electricity and rent in this country? We keep having this debate saying there's a border crisis. There is no border crisis. What we have is a law enforcement crisis. We have a crisis of people not wanting to uphold the law. We got a bunch of coward politicians who refuse to uphold the law. Joe Biden's not even in charge. He can't even clean his own behind. It's obvious he's not in charge. But what irritates me is that here we are having this long debate. We talk too much about foreigners. What about the American people, damn it? I'm sick of talking about all these freaking foreigners. Like it's our job to help every damn foreigner come over here. Let me just remind you that we're $30 trillion dollars or at least 30 trillion or more. We don't know how much we're in debt, really. But they're still printing money. I want to ask any moron who keeps saying it's our obligation to help another country. Let me see you struggling and you really in debt. And then you say, I'm going to make sure I take care of the neighbor's children while my children or my family is over here struggling and starving to death. Personally, I don't care. If your country is a shithole, I really don't care. It's not my concern. I'm concerned about the American people, these filthy politicians who was elected to take care of this country. We're having a debate. We shouldn't even have to be sending any uh, busloads of illegals down there if they were doing their damn job in the first place. But what gets me is that Mayor Adams, which is a sanctuary city, D.C. is a sanctuary city too, is it not? California. Why y'all complaining? Y'all wanted the illegals over here, but you want somebody else to take care of. Now you're worried about the National Guard. If you say you're going to send the National Guard to the border, they say that's that, that we can't do that. Now they want the National Guard down there not to uphold the law. They want the National Guard down there, I guess, to hand out medical equipment and to make sure we do daycare for the illegal immigrants. We just slap lost our mind. There's no way we can ever fix the problems in this country because we're too damn corrupt. And everybody keeps trying to talk real nice to dance around what we need to do. No foreigners, illegal immigrants, should be getting any damn care. Not health care, not food, not nothing. It's not my job. Any so if a, 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 a hundred or so people just show up at your house and say, feed all of us, you going to feed them? 
It's not our job to keep feeding these damn illegals. Sick of this crap. We keep having all these shows and everybody's talking about this. This is a smoke screen, you ask me. Solve the damn problem. Stop feeding them. That's how you can solve that. Just don't feed them. Is that law in the book say you got to feed, feed foreigners? Because I need to see that law. I, I don't want to hear about humanitarian efforts. Is there a law in the book that says I'm supposed to feed people who broke the law? Show me that law. Does somebody break in the country? It's my job to feed me. You're going to starve. Because if I do a rest, I'm just going to put you back. You ain't getting no food, none of that. Go back over there. What makes it even worse, they get over here and then all of a sudden they want to start telling us how wonderful that country. Why you got your flag still? Go back to your country then. But they come over here and then we having this debate back and forth. This 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 lunatic down here in New York, this Governor Adams down here, Mr. Plant Based, that plant based food is going to your head or something, boy. Because it's obvious that it's not a job. You say you got a sanctuary city. You want to invite the people from Florida who didn't want that trash being taught to their kids in school. Now you complaining about foreigners? That's what you wanted. Washington, D.C. mayor. She's a lunatic, too. She's corrupt to the core. She's complaining you want National Guards down there to babysit some foreigners from another country? Why don't y'all do something about all that damn crime, crime in New York and in D.C.? Crime off the chain. They talking about worrying about the National Guard. Put the National Guard down there to stop the criminal activity if you want to do something. Look at all the time that Adams is spending towards illegal immigrants. They're getting all this assistance doing this while people are getting robbed like I don't know what, carjacking and everything else. And you telling me about some freaking illegal immigrant. No, I don't give a damn about it. That's your freaking mind or some sick of this crap. All this nice stuff is not going to get you anywhere. You don't got to be sensitive. Just say what's on your mind. Why is it our job to take care of a bunch of foreigners anyway? Why are we even having this debate? Look at all this time we're spending on another country's citizens. This is outrageous. How can we ever fix any problems? Well, we, we got all these problems we need to be fixing over here. Americans are suffering over here. You ride down the street, no matter what city you go to, homelessness, people who are mentally, shouldn't even be on the street because they're mentally messed up. There are some mentally ill people who cannot take care of themselves walking the street. And we're bringing foreigners over here because we're going to dedicate these resources. All these do, well, we need this. This is a new inflation spending bill. Only reason you need to do something because the government wastes too much damn money. And another thing we do is we keep on spending money on foreigners or giving money to other countries. I don't understand. You couldn't run a business the way America runs anything. And I think one of the main reasons they hated Donald Trump so much is because he knew how to run a business and he was able to get things done. There's too much bureaucracy going on with our country. There's all a bunch of bureaucrats. See, Anthony Fauci was a bureaucrat. He, when the last time he worked on a patient? He's a bureaucrat. We got too many bureaucrats. These so-called, we're going to get something done. You think Chuck Schumer knows how to run a business? He's a bureaucrat. Mitch McConnell, bureaucrat. All these bureaucrats are in charge. They don't know how to do anything. These career government workers are bureaucrats. We need businessmen. We need people who know how to get things done. Not a bunch of pin pushers talking about what they want to do. Do your damn job. Here we are having it, but you can tell they pencil pushers because if somebody was running a business, they would say, wait a minute. I'm not going to spend our budget on something that has nothing... This would be like one company. This would be like, say, Ford. I heard they're doing a lot of laying off, too. 3000 or so getting laid off. Ford is going to spend a bunch of money to make sure Chevrolet is doing okay. Chrysler is doing okay. Elon Musk is going to help the other electric car, uh, car companies. He's going to spend his budget on their, their cars. That doesn't even make any sense. We're spending our budget on foreigners. How stupid is this? Everybody... Well, we gotta we gotta be sensitive, humanitarian. I don't care nothing about none of that. It's time it's time out for this. All this stuff has not gotten us anywhere. Do you think these filthy politicians really care about humanitarian effort? This is another effort for them to uh, destroy the voting system, which has already been destroyed, technically speaking. This is another way for them to bring over and get more politicians in there so they can waste more of your money. Give it more to their friends. Why we keep pretending like we have a crisis? There is no crisis. The only crisis we have is a lack of courage from these filthy politicians who will not do their job. They're too corrupt, these bureaucrats. Don't tell me 
about some crisis at the board. There is no crisis. The only crisis we have is lack of courage. 